Welcome back. We want to welcome our next guest. We have Dr. Raj Patel, a professor of pharmacy practice at UOP, and Emily Howe, a pharmacy student. Great to have you both Thank you, here Blair. to talk about a partnership with Kaiser and UOP. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. We um, actually have 14 health fairs uh, throughout uh, Northern and Central California, uh, targeting specifically Medicare beneficiaries. And one of the core services we provide is we try to help minimize their prescription drug cost, which, as you know, has been receiving a lot of attention in the media. And it's done through the partnership with many different groups. Kaiser there's been a wonderful sponsor of, of our uh, health fairs for the past several years. So talk about the health fairs, I'm plural, yes. talk about that. Sure. Uh, this year we have actually 14 different health fairs in 10 different cities. And uh, on average we'll have about 80 volunteers that provide over a dozen different health care screening services. And every year you reevaluate your Medicare drug plans. Talk a little bit about that and, and kind of how what that means for the students. Sure. Yeah, so every year the plans will change their formulary, which is a list of medications that the insurance plan covers. And they'll also change the cost structure, so it's very important to reevaluate that every year. So explain why that's very important to do that. Sure. So most of us during our working years maybe have three, four different insurance plans from which to choose. If you are a Medicare beneficiary that lives in Sacramento mm -hmm. County, you have 33 different ways to get your prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. And as Emily said, everyone has a different list of medications they cover and a different cost. What we found over the 11 years that we've been doing this is on average about 80% of individuals can actually save money by reevaluating their Part D plan, and it's just over $1,050. Wow. So no small sum when you consider most of these individuals individuals are older Americans on fixed income with limited resources. Yeah, 11 years you've been doing this. So how have you seen this impact people or help people over those years? Yeah, I, I think that there, there's been a huge impact because what we're saying is we can help lower their drug costs so that they don't have to make a decision between getting access to their medications and maybe some of their basic necessities, you know, housing, food, those kinds of things. So Emily, you're a pharmacy student. Yeah. What's it been like being a part of this and, and helping out with this? It's really great because not only am I a pharmacy student, but I also work at Kaiser as a pharmacy intern. This is really great seeing Kaiser support our program um, that gives back to the community. And just being able to use what I learned in the classroom in the real life to give back um, to the community is really great. This is pretty thorough fairs going on there. Talk about how often the fairs run. Sure. So most of our events are scheduled during the Medicare open enrollment period. So that's between October 15th and December 7th. But we do have events over the summer. Um, and over uh, a course of our event, we'll have about a 14 to 15 different health care screening services. All of the services we provide are free of charge for the community. Okay. Emily, real quick before we wrap up here, it's neat that you've been able to be a student and then also start your, your work currently at yeah. Kaiser, which has been nice. Talk a little bit about that opportunity as a student and the program at UOP that allows you to do that. Yeah, so it's, it's very inspiring to hear that um, the company I work for, Kaiser, is, you know, it's very forward for the community. Mm -hmm. um, and we're able to just do so much for the patients and seeing the patients um, giving back to them, having them save so much money, it's priceless. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It sounds great. You have all those fairs coming up, so I'm sure that we'll be able to put up some information so people can get a look at where to find those. Oh, yeah. At the University of Pacific, the Thomas Long School of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, uh, right there at 3601 Pacific Avenue in Stockton. Phone number to get more information, 209-946-2561. Lori, would you...